So I'm debating here. Do I put the CA glue on the deck and then plug these into it or do I try and put the CA glue on the end of here and here? And I'm thinking that it'd probably be safest to put it on the deck, the little holes first, because in all likelihood when I'm trying to get it around I'll end up smearing it all over the place. So. Okay, there's a there's a hole here. Whoops. And you can't see it, but there's a matching hole on the other side here. I do believe I've got enough. Now before that cures. These tweezers are a little bit hard to squeeze and it's easy to relax your grip. Now, if I can get in the... It goes in the one hole, but it doesn't want to go in the other one very good. Just get it down here. Okay, now to hold this in place like that, pretty much wants to stay there. Maybe I'll I'll move these just slightly out of the way here. I don't want to be bending them back and forth and back and forth too much because they'll end up all of a sudden breaking off on me. Maybe I should put on my stronger glasses here and see a little better. Okay, and push this back just a little bit. There and and there. Oops. Be nice if I could get it to adhere just in the right place. It's uh, it either wants to be on one side of that little ridge or the other. Yeah, that might be right if it would stay there. Okay. Now be very, very careful. Now this bottom rail, well actually actually, this is the bottom rail down here, so this would be number two, number three, number four. So number two has to be shortened just a little bit, probably about two millimeters long, and come up against this uh, fairway. Now this one is supposed to go up about like that, and then the top rail, number four, we don't want it up too high or it's not going to look right. But I'm noticing, do you remember in yesterday's episode I was saying something about we had to have a piece that goes all the way across the back? Like the top one goes all the way across the back? Well, this is long enough. So we just have to shorten this one, shorten this one, and glue this one all the way around. Now, I've got quite a bit of CA glue there, that, and you know, I don't think it's dry yet. I better quit horsing around for a while. Quite a bit of time has passed here now, and I guess what I should have said is cured, not dried. Um, I'm sure not very happy about the mess I've made here, and I was thinking, you know, I wonder if I should maybe paint this uh, fair lead the darker gray and then glue these on. But you know, I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I'm going to 
I'm going to glue these railings in place, cut them and glue them, and uh, then paint the whole thing the dark gray, and then with a very fine brush I'm going to try to just paint the railing the light gray. I don't know if that's going to work. I don't think I've ever done anything quite, whoops, quite like that before. Um, but, but you can see here, they, if I can move these out of the way just a little bit here, it, it's kind of a mess right here. Uh, yeah, that's too bad. I, I didn't realize that the CA glue was going to blob like that. I thought it would sort of flow and self-level itself, but it didn't. Well, I guess in a way it sort of makes it look like there's some sort of detail going on there that maybe in reality there wasn't, but, you know, in the imagination of the viewer, it might look like it is. the very bottom rail has been embedded you might say in between in the seam between the gunnel and the deck so we don't need to worry about that so now let's worry about the next one up here which has to be shortened about I'm thinking maybe here it's did I get it I don't think I got it all right. Very, very carefully here. Okay, now what happens if I push that in? Is that going to glue in the right place? It, maybe it should go down just a little. Where's my needle? Well, this isn't the needle, but it should work. Just get that rail down so it's horizontal with this one right here. Ah! Maybe I should have made it just a smidgen shorter. Try and get it down here. Okay, no, that's not it. All right, right there. Now don't poke at it, just glue it there. Now I know that I've mentioned this before, probably several times, but what I will do is I will, I will take a scene like I just did here, and then I will go and I will edit it out and I will add it to the video and the video gets longer and longer and longer and then you get to watch it around 5 p.m. Winnipeg time. However, when I was just looking, editing out the last couple of scenes that I took here, I was noticing right here, now, now you see this, this post right here, or brace or whatever they want to call it for the flagstaff, it's just barely glued on there. So I think that when I'm gluing this little railing on, at the same time I think I'll add just a little bit of CA medium right in there and hope that it builds up between the two just to make it just a little bit thicker. And then hopefully when I paint everything here the dark gray, it's uh, not going to show too bad. In other words, it won't look like a glob of CA glue, which is exactly what it is. Anyway, remember now, Ron, don't poke at this railing. You got it just right here. So if I get these up out of the way just a little bit here. I don't want to touch them accidentally with my applicator. Well, I wonder what I should use for an applicator here. My regular applicator or something a little smaller. Maybe, maybe the head of this pin might actually work better. Oh, 
Okay, here we go with our CA medium. Let's just try and build it up around the bottom of that. Okay, now hopefully that will kind of self-level and with the rest of it, I'll just touch I don't think any came off. Gonna have to get some more on the applicator. Maybe this applicator is not the best. Okay. Well, it'll be strong if nothing else. Okay, you all saw it. You all saw how I didn't see that I already had CA glue on that little connection. Now, even when I'm looking at it through these things, I'm not seeing it anywhere near as sharp as you are through this. Okay? And uh, I know the thought has been, well, why not, you know, work away like this and then watch the monitor, you know? The problem is with the monitor, first of all, there is a slight delay. I don't know if you can see it there. There's just a very slight delay. It's kind of like playing an old pneumatic pipe organ. You press down on the keys and then a little bit later you hear the, the note. Um, okay, yeah, so, so I got that. Plus, there's the fact that I can't judge depth. Yes, I can, I can, I can judge it this way. It's sort of like playing an old side-scrolling uh, video game. You know, you can see, you can make Mario go up and down and left and right, but to make him go this way, you can't, you can't do it. Well, it's, it's, that's the way it is. I can't tell if I'm almost going to touch it or if I'm back a quarter of an inch or... Okay, now there is one other possibility, and I have thought of this a lot. Probably not going to do it, but that is this. Why not make a, a heavy-duty articulating arm that would go over the model table and, I, and it would support my shop stereo microscope. Then I would see it better than you. Yeah. Just a thought, and I'm probably not going to do it because it would take me a week. And I don't want to make a project out of something like that. So, uh, yeah, so uh, anyway, that, that's the thing. Uh, you know, even even with this, I, I could not see that I was getting on just the right amount. Now I can't tell you how frustrating it is for me when I get back to the computer and start editing out my scene, just like I am right this moment, and I find out I had it right the first time. If I only hadn't poked at it, or if I only hadn't tried to add more CA glue, I had enough. I just can't see it the way you can. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Okay. Railing number one on the bottom is tucked into the crack. Railing number two here is sure not going anywhere, and the sailor that welded that should be keel-hauled. Now, let's move number four up out of the way a little bit. Now, number three... We want to attach number three right about where that, where this comes down and attaches to the fair lead. Let's see if I can cut it right the first time. <laughs> Try and get my angle here so I can see what I'm doing, and so can you. How does that look? It might be a little bit too long if it is. I'll cut some more off, but with my luck, I probably made it too short. Let's see what happens here now. I think that when we curve that around, kind of give it sort of a bit of a bend. I can tell this is going to be one of those episodes where I don't get a whole lot done here. Just trying to grab hold of the end of it and bend it just a little bit. So 
Something like that almost looks normal. Okay, let's try and put a small amount of CA right there. Okay, I'm just going to leave the camera running and try and find my applicator. Okay, now the, the keyword is small amount. cut railing number four. What I want to do is try and get it to adhere right where the where the pin is touching the uh, the needle is touching the post, something like that. And then take this last little bit that you see right here, make it horizontal and go over onto this one right here, and then join this one to it. Talk is easy and talk is cheap. That's why I talk so much. Okay. Okay, it might be a mistake, but I'm going to just try and bend it down just a little bit here so that the back part is more horizontal. Oh, come on. Okay, that's some better, isn't it? there and put the CA where's my pointer if I could just hold it against this and then put the CA glue on there and then just maybe I'll get my uh, helping hands here I get Ian to give me a hand except I'd probably glue one of his fingers onto the post here okay enough poking already Good thing I can cut out these dead spots. Yeah, I'll just move that in. Just I think it has to come up a little bit. Does that look good from your perspective? Let me sort of scrunch down to your perspective here. I glued the clamp to it now. Let's just move this away here. Sorry if I'm getting my finger in the road. Just leave that and see what happens. I'm just going to let. I'm not going to rush it. I'm not going to put a curing agent on it or anything. I'm just going to leave it. In the meantime, thanks for watching. All being well, we'll see you tomorrow.